Did you know there are places on this earth where the living are outnumbered by the dead? A chilling thought, isn't it? Yet it's a reality we're about to explore, a reality that will take us into the heart of darkness, into the very marrow of fear. We're about to journey into the shadows of the world, where the spectral and the corporeal intertwine in an eerie dance. So, steal your nerves and embrace the uncanny. Join us as we count down the top 10 most haunted places in the world. Our countdown begins with Pavalia Island, a quarantine zone for plague victims, turned insane asylum. Nestled between Venice and Lido in the Venetian Lagoon, Pavaglia Island has a history as chilling as the cold Italian winds. Once a refuge for the sick, the island was later transformed into an insane asylum where, legend has it, a doctor performed unspeakable horrors on his patients. Its sinister past has left an indelible mark, with reports of paranormal activities that would make even the bravest soul shudder. Unseen whispers, chilling apparitions, and a pervasive sense of dread have earned Pavalia Island the reputation of being one of the most haunted places on Earth. This secluded island remains deserted, a silent testament to the thousands of tormented souls that once inhabited it. Despite its beauty, locals avoid it, preferring to leave the island to its past. Pavalia Island, where echoes of the past still linger. Moving on to number 9, we visit the Tower of London, a place stained with the blood of history. Erected nearly a thousand years ago, this iconic castle has served as a royal palace, a treasury, and most chillingly, a prison. Its stone walls have borne witness to numerous executions, the most famous being those of Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard, wives of King Henry VIII. The tower's grim history has left an indelible spectral imprint. Visitors and staff alike report encounters with these ill-fated queens, their ghostly apparitions wandering the grounds, perhaps in search of justice or simply peace. Other phantoms include the princes in the tower, Two young boys mysteriously vanished, their fate unknown. Yet the tower's hauntings extend beyond its royal ghosts. The White Tower, the oldest part of the complex, is said to be haunted by the White Lady, her perfume-laden presence often sensed before she is seen. The Tower of London where history and hauntings collide. From Europe, we travel to the southern United States to visit the infamous Myrtle's Plantation. Nestled deep in Louisiana, this grand plantation house has a history as rich as the soil it stands on, but it's not the stunning architecture or the lush gardens that draw visitors from around the globe. Rather, it's the whispers of the unseen, the chill down the spine, the spectral figures that flicker at the corner of one's eye. Legends speak of at least 12 ghosts that roam the grounds, each with their own tragic tale. The most famous, perhaps, is the spirit of Chloe, a former slave who supposedly poisoned two of the plantation's inhabitants. Today, these ethereal residents make the Myrtle's Plantation a must-visit destination for any serious ghost hunter. So, if you're brave enough to face the unseen, take a step into the Myrtle's Plantation, where the past refuses to rest. Our journey takes a darker turn as we venture into Aokigahara Forest, also known as Japan's Suicide Forest. A place of mystery and melancholy, this sea of trees at the foot of Mount Fuji is a paradox. Its natural beauty is captivating, yet its reputation is disturbing. The forest's dense foliage and eerie quiet are a stark contrast to the bustling cities of Japan, creating an unsettling atmosphere that has shaped its sinister moniker. Aokigahara Forest holds the grim title of one of the world's most prevalent suicide spots. Its twisted paths have led many to their tragic end, making it a place that is as haunting as it is haunted. Stories of encounters with restless spirits are not uncommon, adding to the forest's chilling reputation. These tales paint a picture of a place where sorrow lingers, and the line between the living and the dead seems to blur. Aokigahara Forest, where despair and death walk hand in hand. At number 6, we find ourselves within the crumbling walls of the Eastern State Penitentiary. This imposing structure, with its stone facade and foreboding cell blocks, was once among the most famous and expensive prisons in the world. Here, inmates were subjected to harsh conditions, with solitary confinement the norm rather than the exception. Imagine the loneliness and despair, the echoes of countless footsteps down empty corridors, the whispering voices of those long gone. These are the stories that fill the air, the tales of inmates who've never left. Reports of ghostly sightings and eerie sounds are numerous, from shadowy figures seen darting around corners to disembodied voices crying out in the night. Paranormal investigators and thrill-seekers alike have flocked to this site, drawn by its chilling reputation. This is the Eastern State Penitentiary, 
a place where the line between the living and the dead seems to blur, where the past refuses to stay silent, Eastern State Penitentiary where some inmates never checked out. Halfway through our countdown, we descend into the chilling depths of the catacombs of Paris. This subterranean labyrinth, which winds beneath the bustling streets of the City of Light, is a stark contrast to the romantic allure Paris is known for. The catacombs were created in the late 18th century as a solution to overflowing cemeteries. The bones of millions were exhumed and meticulously arranged within these underground tunnels, transforming them into a city of the dead. Over the centuries, countless visitors have reported eerie encounters within these claustrophobic corridors. Whispered voices in the darkness, phantom touches and apparitions are but a few of the chilling experiences shared by those brave enough to venture into the catacombs. Some claim these phenomena are the restless spirits of the entombed, forever trapped in their subterranean city. Others suggest the oppressive weight of so much death can play tricks on the mind. The catacombs of Paris, where death is always a step behind. Our countdown takes a bizarre turn at number 4 as we explore the island of the Dolls. Nestled in the canals of Xochimilco, near Mexico City, lies a peculiar haunt. Shrouded in the eerie silence of the waterways, it's an island unlike any other. It all began with a man named Don Julian Santana, the island's sole inhabitant. He started hanging dolls on trees as a tribute to a girl he found drowned under mysterious circumstances. Over the years, the island transformed into a chilling spectacle, with hundreds of mutilated dolls hanging from the trees, their lifeless eyes staring into the void. Visitors have reported dolls whispering to them, while others claim to have witnessed the dolls moving their limbs. The eeriness escalates at night when the wind rustles through the dolls, creating a symphony of whispers that echo across the island. The Island of the Dolls, where childhood nightmares come to life. At number three, we find ourselves checking into the Banff Springs Hotel, a place where some guests never checked out. Nestled in the Canadian Rockies, this breathtaking hotel has a history as rich as its architecture. Built in the late 19th century, it was a luxurious stop for travelers journeying across Canada. However, it seems that some guests loved it so much, they decided to stay forever. Rumor has it that a bride fell to her death on her wedding day, and she's often seen dancing in the ballroom, still in her wedding gown. Another resident specter is Sam the Bellman, who, despite dying in the mid-70s, continues to assist guests to this day. The chilling tales don't stop there. Unexplained noises, phantom children playing in the hallway, and spectral figures appearing in photographs have earned this hotel a reputation as one of Canada's most haunted places. The Banff Springs Hotel, where every room comes with a chill. Coming in at number two is the Bangar Fort, a place so haunted, locals won't go near it after dark. Nestled in the Rajasthan Desert, this 17th century fortress has a history as rich as it is eerie. Legend tells of a sorcerer who fell in love with a beautiful princess. When his advances were rejected, he cursed the fort, declaring death upon all who dwelt there. True or not, the fort was soon deserted, leaving behind only whispers of the past. Its imposing stone walls and dilapidated buildings are a stark reminder of its former glory. Locals say you can still hear the faint echo of royal court sessions, the laughter of princesses, and the chilling wails of the cursed. The Indian government has even implemented a strict rule prohibiting anyone from entering the fort before sunrise and after sunset. This is a place where the line between the living and the dead blurs, where every corner echoes with an untold mystery. The Bangar Fort where darkness holds more than just shadows. And finally, at number one, we arrive at the ancient Ram Inn, a place so haunted it's considered the most haunted house in England. This quaint, centuries-old inn, nestled in the heart of the Gloucestershire countryside, has a history that's as chilling as the spirits said to reside within its ancient walls. Established in the 12th century, the inn is believed to be built on a pagan burial ground. Over the years, it has played host to a myriad of spectral guests. From the ghostly apparitions of children to a sinister high priestess and even a demonic presence known as the incubus, the inn is a hotbed of supernatural activity. Many attribute its ghostly reputation to the land's ancient history and the countless lives that have passed through the inn's doors. It's a chilling cocktail of history, mystery, and the unexplained that makes the ancient Ram Inn the most haunted location in the world. The ancient Ram Inn, where every corner hides a ghost. And there you have it, the top 10 most haunted places in the world. We've journeyed from Pavelia Island in Italy to the ancient Ram Inn in England, 
hand in hand with the spectral and the uncanny. Each eerie tale, a thread in the grand tapestry of earthly hauntings, we invite you to share your own ghostly encounters and add to this chilling narrative. Until next time, remember, the world is full of mysteries, and some of them might be closer than you think.